Okay, just a little more information on different handheld models from Fluke. Uh, if your club is using a meter right now and you're not sure of the accuracy, you know, look at the specs on it. And if you're thinking of shopping for a new one, there's a couple. Be a quick comparison as far as pricing and uh, comparing a, a lower price model like Fluke's 179, the accuracy of that meter and the resistance scale is plus or minus 0.9 percent, which isn't that great. If you step up to a meter in the $500 retail range, which I've seen for about 430 on one site, the Fluke 287 true RMS meter. That has a resistance. The lowest scale is 500 ohms and that has a hundredths of an ohm resolution, 0 0.01. The accuracy is plus or minus 0 0.05 percent which is certainly much better. Also has a temperature scale accuracy of 1 percent. I'm not sure if they include the temperature probe with that. It may be um, it may be separate. So you never know. You might find a find one on eBay at a good price. Um, although I'm I'm sure um, only five hundred dollars that should be really affordable to a place like Yellowfinger Race Products since they're having trouble making uh, legal three ohm armatures. Anybody that's had a problem with them might want to pass that information along. Might be helpful along with learning how to use the uh, meter correctly. That's always a good thing. So that's, I think, about it. You really get what you pay for when it comes to meters, but you can't, generally can't go wrong with a fluke. For that price, just over $400 and 0.05% accuracy. That's going to be really tough to beat in a handheld meter. So I think that's about all we have for now. I uh, hope you found this helpful. Oh, one more thing, that 287 model that also uses six AA batteries rather than a 9-volt, uh, little 9-volt battery. So it's going to be heavier, but then again, the lithium batteries are uh, so much lighter and last uh, just about forever for a meter like this. That would be uh, that would be one to consider. So that's about it. I hope uh, Yellowfinger has better luck making some good 3 ohm armatures in the future. Glad we could help.